What's going on everyone? We're here to talk to you about inlay, empowering, and tempering in Taurus Land. Two of those three things require a material that many of you have asked about lately, Arcane Ash. So real quickly, just to let you know how to acquire Arcane Ash, it's taking purple gear that you have, extras, duplicates, whatever have you, and selling it. So selling is actually dismantling as well in this game. So you can see right here, if I sell this piece of gear, I'm guaranteed one Arcane Ash with a chance at a second piece. And we're not going to do that because we are going to need this piece to demonstrate a couple other things that we're doing. So let's get started. Inlay. This is the simplest one. It's fairly self-explanatory. It's just gemming. Right, you got a piece of gear, you got some gems, you can take them out, you can put them back in, and that's all it is. You match the color of the gem to the socket. Uh, colorful was not a choice back during beta, but I imagine we had other gem colors though, so I imagine this is going to be gems that are like multi-purpose gems that would normally be a combination of two different stat types, the way blue is a defensive stat like stamina, and red is an offensive stat like strength, you know, I imagine we'll see things like, you know, green and purple, other gem colors that are like a hybrid of a type of stat and will be able to go in either or gem color slot kind of deal. But it's a very simple thing there. Uh, there's no cost to take them out or put them back in. And a nice quality of life thing that they have with it is when you go to equip a new piece of gear that's in that same slot, it will actually ask you if you want to relocate the cardinal gems the gems that are in the old piece and put them in the new one automatically so you don't have to do that yourself so it's a very nice thing uh, on that front very nice little quality of life but gemming overall very simple what enlay is it's a nice place to get extra stats empowering now empowering is most closely related to enchanting all right to empower you're going to need two materials Specifically, one, you're going to need a rune, which is going to come from your beloved professional alchemists that can make them here with empowerment runes. And these are going to be used to put stats, additional stats, onto a piece of gear. So you can see right here, uh, there are going to be different tiers of these attack runes for crafting. And those effects will vary. The primary one for an attack rune as a warrior DPS is going to be strength. But as you can see, we go down here, we get some different combinations of what we can get, uh, you know, strength and reflect damage, strength activation effects, strength healing effects, etc. But it's all going to still be related to strength. Uh, but the material cost, depending on the type, is going to go up as well. But it's a very simple thing. As long as you have an attack rune and one arc and the three arcane ash, not one, three arcane ash, uh, you are going to be able to apply a empowerment to a piece of gear. Now, this is something that you don't necessarily want to do right away because we're still going through the process of replacing our gear very quickly at the moment. And you don't need to, uh, you don't need the additional stats right now, unless you're really pushing for when the, uh, erosion, um, raid group come out and you're trying to be those world first leaderboard things those people are all you know min maxing every little bit of their character right now but those people are doing all that stuff like internally as well so you know most average players not a big deal right now there's a lot of gear turnover as we're going through this process uh you know once we're into that process of getting the raid gear with the set effects and whatnot uh that's the eye level 100 stuff where you'll be in that for a bit longer uh, those are going to be where you'll start to uh, apply empowerments and getting more into the investment of your gear, per se. Going to be different uh, for all of them. So the shoulders, uh, gloves, and boots will all have attack rune types. The pants and chest are going to have defensive rune types, uh, as well as the helmet. And then your weapon is going to have an omni room. Uh, which is going to be a specialized offensive stat, which in my case is focus. So that's the one that I can put there as the Omni rune. So you can't just stack uh, all purely <laughs> offensive trait gear. 
but empowering as well fairly straightforward but a few specific mats remember you're going to need these arcane ashes so people have talked about you know what do i do with the uh, emblems right here i can already get this from running the dungeon well these emblems are going to have that purpose of buying duplicates to get desirable stats because the stats that roll on gear when you get it from the dungeon or from here are two random stats and so you are in the terms of min maxing your or optimizing your output as a dps or tank whatever uh you are going to want the most optimal stats for your class so this is where spending these additional metals that you have for duplicates of gear that's one element of play but also buying them and being able to then break them down into arcane ash is going to be another use for them so that's a very valuable part for those as well so make sure you're getting all the medals that you can uh, don't think that they're not worth anything they absolutely are and the last thing is going to be tempering tempering was a little confusing for people uh, because they didn't really know what tempering equipment was or how to get it and what the process was for it because this was new this wasn't in the original beta uh, a year ago this is a new system basically uh, what you do is you replace the stats, you take a piece of gear that is the same, and you can actually swap the stats from it. It destroys this piece of gear in the process. Now, normally, if you just have two pieces that are the exact same, there would be no reason to do tempering here, right? And this is will cost you one Arcane Ash for this tier of it. One Arcane Ash with a thousand silver coin. Okay, and this would basically, as you can see, it would trade the stats that are on these two pieces of gear. This one has 105 strength and this one has 70 and the focuses are flipped as well. So if I did do this tempering, it would destroy this piece of gear and put it over here. Back to what we were talking about earlier with your empowerments. If I were to have, say, put an empowerment on a piece of gear that I wanted to uh replace because i got another piece that had better stats well that would be wasted money then if i were to have put that empowerment on that piece of gear and then i get a new piece and now i have to re-empower that piece of gear basically this is definitely something that you primarily are going to look to save for when you have a piece of gear that's already like a good piece but it's not a perfect piece or anything like that and you put an empowerment on it you can then use the tempering for that new piece to put the stats that you do want you know those perfectly rolled stats and swap them onto your current piece that already has an empowerment and all your gemming and everything so you don't have to re-spend on that empowerment you just have to sacrifice the cost of the actual piece of gear that you did have for that empowerment so empowerment is just a stat swap it's a great way to recycle um you know keep your current gear relevant uh, and apply without having to like replace it entirely and get a new enchantment and all that stuff onto it. So empowerment is very simple and straightforward as well. But again, it does require arcane ash. So there is definitely value there in getting duplicates of gear and recycling them through the cell system so that you can get this arcane ash. And you can definitely expect that like higher tier gear and whatnot is going to be really valuable there as well for getting the higher uh, grades of arcane ash most likely if not through a crafting process uh, if you're curious about where things come from most of the time in the game if you click on it and you hit source the game tells you where it comes from so selling equipment or the trade center as you can see right there so you know it's a pretty pretty great system in terms of just telling you that kind of stuff as you can see here arcane crystals arcane ash it's going to be alchemist you take it and you make arcane crystals to make the arcane dust and the arcane dust to make these arcane uh, crystals right here. So it's going to go arcane shards into arcane dust into arcane crystals. So alchemists, you're going to be busy. <laughs> so it's a, it's all fairly straightforward once you understand it. But I know a lot of people have had questions about it and how it all works. What's valuable, what's not valuable, what to watch out for, uh, what the what the purpose is of some of this you know people were like well why like what's the point of replacing the gear with tempering you know that sort of stuff i don't recommend using empowerment or uh, uh tempering on any blue gear or anything i don't think tempering is worth anything at all unless you have a piece of gear that's empowered already because again 
Now I can just take this duplicate item and I can just swap it in the gems trade and I don't have to lose that piece of gear. And now I can sell this piece that is the less desirable piece. And now I get two arcane ash out of it. So now I have seven arcane ash. So a piece of gear is going to get sacrificed anyways, but this way we get to keep arcane ash in exchange for it. So really good stuff there. Thank you all so much for watching. That's the inlay empowerment and tempering covering those things for you all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask us live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Take care and have a good one.